So I'm just going to recap uh, why I made the videos and say one or two new things. Um, I made the videos, the 10 videos, because the atheists took clips of my video, Atheism Under the Wrath of God, and tried to make me look stupid. And I felt that it's come full circle now after two years of fighting militant atheism that I wanted to explain the background of that video and how the atheist abused me and manipulated me, took advantage of me. And also I wanted to come to an end and round everything off for my new life where I want to move on uh, to do things in a more positive way uh, and get back to the old Jay of who I was in the past of a Bible teacher and preaching the Word of God. So that's why I've made this 10 part series. Um, what I've learned over the two years is that you can trust God, that God is always there that he can use your mistakes to base everything in the word of God to depend on the Holy Spirit to realize that even though Christians might let you down that we need the church and we need to work with the church which uh, I didn't over the two years of my fighting military atheism but we need the church we need to we need fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to work together. Um, that Christ is majestic, that Christ is everything, that he's the number one, and that we should lift him up. That he should get all the glory, that it's about him, it's not about us, it's about his glory. And... I feel the church is in a weak state these days. I feel there's not a lot of Bible teaching. There's not a lot of really good, strong Christianity about. I think it's a challenge for us all to to live up to the Bible and to reach out to people. And the challenge for me is to get deep roots in God through his word and to reach out to people uh, in preaching and in practical care and to do it team based with the people of God those are the things I've, I've learned the last two years also to forget about past mistakes or forget about mistakes uh, or forget about things of the past you know if we make mistakes or if we fail you know, well, we fail, and if we confess it and we're honest, we we really try to put things right, then we should just move on. And um, you know, there's a time to be sad about the past, but there's a time to move on. And I think I found it very difficult to move move on, uh, being stuck in the past. And I need to realize that I am a child of God, that God loves me, that he has called me, and that he's got a lot of good things for me. And not to let the past pull me down and, 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 um, so yeah, those are the things that I've learned. So I'm just glad I've been able to make these 10 videos just to come full circle and to really end things in a proper way concerning this cycle that I got in with the militant atheist. And I hope that you've learned from my mistakes and I hope it's been a blessing to you. And I just wish everybody the best. Take care now.